my parents wanted me to go to college and I wanted to record, so they showed me a college that would teach me how to record. Through that, ended up meeting Jay Bennett, who owned this studio, and uh, he kind of welcomed me into the world and said I was welcome here anytime. And I took him literally and never left. And uh, yeah, eight years later brings us here to Chicago in this building. Pi Holden was always just whatever space Jay had, whatever recording gear he had accumulated over the years. So it's, it's bounced around a lot over the past 15 years. Well, originally, originally, before the rock community took it over about 20 years ago, it was like a rec center for like, you know, the Ukrainian boys in the neighborhood. So it was like a boys and girls club. But yeah, it's been, it's been a great rock building for over 20 years now. And you know, sometimes I'll be out front and people will be walking by and asking if there's still a show going on or something. So it's like a lot of people have been to this building over the years to see music or do music. Our client base isn't huge, but they're really good people and great musicians and they know how to work hard and, and get great results. And it feels like a community. Predominantly local Chicago, um, running the gamut really like musically from rock to hip-hop, folk. Mostly independent, um, a lot of it just because of the changing nature of the music industry, a lot of it self-financed. We have these, oh my God, are they from like the 40s probably? Probably, yeah. These tubular bells, they're like, I don't know, eight feet, I'd say, eight feet tall. And they're like these cylindrical tubes that they sound like church bells, kind of. They're really super cool, really beautiful. My favorite thing about the shop is having a couple hundred tools and knowing where they all are. And that's kind of was my mantra when I started taking over the space as a manager for Jay was, it's really cool to own a lot of stuff. It's totally pointless to own it if you can't find it or <laughs> it, it doesn't, doesn't work. work. Yeah. And literally at any point in the day, I need to know where a couple thousand things are in this building, which is fine, but you need to have your system down. I think part of Pi Holden is to honor Jay. I mean, part of what we're, the work that we're doing here and some of our, I think, like ethics or philosophy. And it was just his work, yeah, it was his workshop. He was addicted to making music and recording. It was a, fu a fun thing that he got to do that also helped him build a really great sound and a really great production style and, um, and just his own unique space that you can't go to Guitar Center and just purchase, you know, it's, it's a lifetime of, of fun toys, you know.